Hello, here we're going to change the cabin air filter on a 2007 Nissan Frontier. Uh, should be pretty common with uh, Frontiers, Pathfinders, uh, Xterras. Might be some slight differences, but this one's on a 2007, so um, use your imagination. But this is uh, the cabin filter is behind the glove box. You can see I conveniently emptied out mine. And the first step you want to do is push these tabs. So it comes out easier than the other until it pops loose down here. Now, all the way in here, you can see my cover is missing because it broke off. But there's going to be a tab you would push on towards the top. And the tab comes out, or the cover comes out, and then you would slide it out. Now for this one, you simply want to reach in, grab your first filter, however you can. Okay, this one slides out pretty decently. Um, you can see how dirty they get. Um, that's why you change them. You get junk in them. It's for the AC. Uh, this one, I think it's been in there for at least 15 or 16,000 miles. I change them out once a year. I'm gonna reach in. Try to grab the next one. Just barely grab it. Right, you can pull it out, slide it over, pull it straight out. And the same thing. They do get pretty dirty, so set them aside. Now, here is our new ones. Um, you can get them either at uh, your Nissan dealership. I got these from Wix. So I, would, I know when I first bought the truck, I had Bosch in it. I've had those. I bought the first set from Nissan and figured they're all pretty much the same. So I just got these from Wix. Now pay attention. The owner's manual does mention this arrow is the airflow. So this is the way you want to install it. Not like this, with the arrow pointed down. So either way, you want to install it. So the first one. Going to gent gently as we can here. Line it up with the opening. Slide in as much as you can. Try to aim it for that far side. Try to get the filter in and then slide it over. Give yourself some room for the second filter to go in as straight as possible. Same thing. Pay attention to which direction it's going. Line it up with your opening. And slide it in. So they're all the way in. And again, if you have the cover, then you're going to put the base in, snap it in. Like I said, my clip uh, broke off, so I don't have to worry about it. And if it's the first time you've ever done it, there will be a Phillips screw you'll have to remove. Uh, it's an optional whether you put the screw back or not. So put the filters in like that, make sure they line up decently. And then simply push this up, push the tabs until they snap. And of course, if you're like me, you want to put all your clutter back in and close your glove box. That's I change these about once a year. Um, it's not too much money. I think it's anywhere between twenty to forty dollars for the set of cabin air filters. Do it once a year. You're gonna collect bugs and leaves and crud, so I just change it. Um, it's pretty simple. So I know some people have paid up to like a hundred dollars at a dealership to get it done. So a little bit cheaper way for me to do it. So have fun. Good luck. Be safe.